Hello, my name is Sjoerd de Vries from Clinical Informatics Learning Services, SILS. I'm an instructional designer and an e-learning consultant and in a series of movies I'm going to demonstrate Uperform in an end-to-end -end solution for documentation, training and support. In the second demo I show you how easy it is to record screen applications, edit your document and publish it to several deployment types. In this example I want to create a simulation or document about the customer feedback portal. It's just an application. You can record any application that runs on a Windows machine, even a virtual machine. First I start to perform and create a new document. I select the appropriate type, which could be a recorded document, a document, a course, a template or a bundle of documents into a student guide or course package. For this demo I use recording. I can select the language and provide the local destination. The recorder will pop up in a new window and is initially paused. You can use audio and this is very useful for example when a SME records a uh, procedure in an application and want to explain something. You can use the audio to explain specific screen parts. You also can use audio afterwards. For this demo I don't use audio, so I turn the future off. When I want to start, I click the record button. You perform only records specific actions. When you click, right click, type in something, press a button, entering text, this will trigger you perform to record a screenshot and record the action. So if I click on create, it triggers you perform to create a screenshot and store the action. When I want to explain something, instead of using audio, I can also use notes. When I'm finished, I click on Stop. The simulation is opened in the Uperform editor, in a full version of Uperform. Ansley also developed a rapid recorder without this editor, and this is used for SMEs who only need to record the content and send the material back to the Uperform author. We currently investigate if we can use this functionality within Philips. A Uperform author edits the content in the editor to enhance the content. Instead of a movie, it only displays screenshots and the actions of the screenshots. The actions are created automatically and this saves a lot of time. The Uperform author can insert notes to explain specific screen parts. You can also insert tooltips to create interactivity during the playback of the simulation. The Uperform author can insert steps, replace screenshots, or use audio. And it's even possible to write a transcript that is generated automatically in voice, a text to speech. When you're done with your editing task, you can publish the content for previewing it. With Uperform, it's possible to deploy to simulations with different interactive modi or to specific Word documents, PDFs, PowerPoints. You can have lab exercises, guided help. When I publish this document locally, the publication types that are available are template driven. In a previous movie about Uperform, I showed you how these published documents were viewed by an employee on the knowledge portal. During developing, a Uperform author publishes locally to check the content. You can preview, for example, the simulation. Or the PDF. 
on some documents you will see that there is information that is currently not filled in. This information needs to be filled in in Uperform. Let's add this. Currently we worked on a simulation part, but this document also contains a document part. The document part can be for example a business process procedure section, which contains procedural information. And it could also be for example an exercise. And if you fill in this information, this will be published in the printable documents. You can add additional information, not only in the sections that are available here, but as you can see in the procedure sections, you also have the screenshots and the objects you have to click on. If you want to insert information here, you can insert images or free text. That can be, for example, quick parts. In that case, you can even think of writing instructions for use with Uperform, where you have the documentation and simulation in one single document. If you change the simulation part, it will be displayed in the simulation as well. Or, on the other way around, if you add information here, it will be displayed in the document. When finished, you save the document, fill in the properties, for example, the objectives, and you check in the document. The collaboration part is one of the most important features of Uperform. When people leave the company, you don't have to be afraid that the content source is lost, a well-known and common scenario with tools like Camtasia. Because you perform also have a workflow mechanism, it's possible to assign tasks. These tasks will be displayed in your task menu or sent as a notification by mail. When you log into the knowledge repository as an author or admin, you can collaborate on the content. In the project folder, an admin has an overview of the content developed by the team. You can assign tasks to record or edit content. A Uperform author can also start a workflow on a specific document. For example, when my document is ready, I can ask, add a task to request someone else to review it and publish it. When the content is published, Uperform copies the content to a website folder. And this can be viewed by the end user. It's the same website, but the version of the end user sees it. And this closes the loop from developing content to publish the content. In the next video, I will demonstrate two solutions where we embed this content in a formal learning, a classroom training and an online learning module created in Articulate Storyline. Thanks for watching this demo. When you want more information about Uperform, contact us via the Connectors group, Uperform and SPP Q&A.